Hi everyone, so in my last video I talked about why this channel won't be making its normal books and adaptation videos because um, I've been rather busy, but I've had some free time and uh, obviously I read a lot on my free time. So this is just going to be like a regular book talk. I read Starship Troopers by Robert Heinlein for the first time and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, I'm just going to break down the story a little bit, what I like and not like about the book and uh, take it from there. So the story of Starship Troopers is the story of Juan Johnny Rico and his journey from graduating high school to enlisting in the army, going through basic training, becoming an officer, and leading a squad of soldiers in the middle of a war between an intergalactic um, alien force of bugs. That's, that's one part of the book. The other part of the book are these characters, uh, these history and moral philosophy teachers and professors, which act as a pretty much a mouthpiece on Heinlein's own personal philosophies and ideas. Ideas such as uh, militarism, ideas of personal responsibility and civic duty. That is essentially what the book is. It is story one part and the other part is personal philosophy. Kind of like Ayn Rand in terms of just putting them both together. What I like about the book is Heinlein's breakdown on basic training. Uh, Johnny goes through it and <laughs> he, he, Heinlein gets it right. He, he knows how drill sergeants talk. He knows what people go through at basic. It doesn't matter if the book came out in 1959. It doesn't matter if uh, I went through when I went through basic in 2019. It doesn't matter in the far future of the Starship Troopers universe. It's pretty much all the same. I am a little disappointed that they did not talk about sea burn training when soldiers like me were thrown into a building filled with tear gas. That was a fun day. I also uh, really like how he gets army humor in, in the sense that like soldiers from different branches don't like other soldiers, but they'll stick together in terms of in battles. But when you're out in a bar, you know, they don't like each other. It's kind of funny though, that since Highland was a Navy officer, Johnny as an army uh, recruit, he, he, he beats down on Navy throughout the whole book, and I thought that was very funny. Uh, the other thing I like is as much more of a personal taste, uh, unless you like 50s pulp writing. Uh, this, this idea of the author being so adamant about being right on these scientific ideas and get it so wrong. For example, there's a this constant talk about how human beings evolved through radiation and that's why human beings on earth evolve so much better than on other planets because the other planets don't have the right type of radiation now like I, I i love my marvel comics i know for a fact bruce banner would have been dead in an explosion and not hulk out i know peter parker would have gotten cancer if he was bitten by a radioactive spider instead of getting spider powers that's 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 why I like uh, that, that pulpiness. It's kind of a lethargic time capsule type feeling. There's other, there's other things in there too, like uh, how he talks about through these, these philosophy professors about how child psychology is a pseudoscience, but apparently philosophy is an exact science and soldiers can be hypnotized to fall asleep just like that and psychics can map out underground maps by just standing around and just staring off into space. Exact science. It's so very serious too, which just kind of adds to that kind of camp factor to me, to me. Uh, also, this, this idea that soldiers segregated by the sexes is fine and oh it's not sexist no because apparently female drivers are the best drivers of spaceships kind of like mom driving the kids to soccer practice it's 
funny in a way that this was an attitude that existed back then. I know people still have that attitude now, but it's not as prevalent and definitely not in that form. And I always kind of look back on older stories like that and kind of laugh and chuckle about it. I'm, for That's my own personal opinion. Uh, the last thing I really did like about the story though was uh, the last 20 pages because the book is a very large buildup of not just ideas but the story in general. Uh, Johnny's training comes back and actually is implemented in the last 20 pages. It's, it's a buildup and it leads to a very satisfying conclusion where the plan comes together and there's little references throughout. Ironically, that brings me over to what I did not like about the book, which was the first 20 pages. So the first 20 pages feels like a rough draft. That's uh, very unfocused. Things are happening. I don't know what's happening. You get dropped down to an alien planet. You're, you're hopping around in your robotic suit. You're causing wanton destruction. And I don't know why. Nothing's explained to us. And this is the part of the book, this is the beginning of the book. This is what is supposed to draw a reader in. And what we're known, what we know on what they're doing is their mission is to destroy the water infrastructure of a civilian town. That's a war crime. <laughs> and you, we're not given anything to explain what's happening. To really be in support of that and at some point Johnny goes into a building just at random they were told that they need to bring the civilian casualties to a minimum and that their focus is the water infrastructure so he barges into a random building he doesn't know if it's a church doesn't know if it's uh, a different type of congregation of some kind and he gets shot at after you know being full body armor, barging into a civilian building. After he gets shot at, he backs out and throws a grenade in there. A, a timed grenade, but a grenade all the same. War crimes, war crimes everywhere. Turned me off, turned me completely off from the book. Uh, but later on, mm. excuse me, uh, later on it was, it was it got better and I got to enjoy it a lot more but that that left a really bad taste in my mouth that very beginning not just that stuff but just the writing style in general it, it feels very uh, I think I mentioned before unpolished the other thing I didn't like about the book it's it's a lot of little things but mostly can come together is like the book's reputation precedes it this is my first time reading the book I was always, I always known that it was a very serious book, um, that it was a very militaristic book, which I'm fine with. I, I like military stories sometimes. Um, I also know that there are fans who are very, very adamant in defending it. And I know there are people who don't like it, who are very much anti-Starship Troopers, if that makes sense. Um, so I came in already knowing all of that. And it definitely kind of spoiled my experience of it. Because now while I'm reading these stories, these, these, these parts, and people say things that are, you know, literally on paper don't sound bad, don't sound all that, all that bad. But I look back on, I have to do a double take and just be like, well, no, that's, that's, it's kind of, it's kind of messed up. But I'm not going to talk about that because this is just a regular book talk. I have to go to bed soon and uh, make some more hospitals and do some more security detail. Uh, and on my free time, I'm going to pick up a new book, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and see how that is. It's another book I've never actually read that was on my shelf for a very long time. Uh, feel free to talk in the comments about your thoughts on Starship Troopers if you read it. If you haven't read it, uh, let me know. Uh, until then... Wash your hands, practice social distancing, 
and we will get through this. And have a good night.